color shop paints have been so stinking popular and they've been going around like crazy lately. I finally got some and I'm ready to try them out. Here we go. Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I was a little inspired by my tanning bed lotion bottle. Is this not the cutest tanning bed lotion you have ever seen? It is so daggone cute. I literally bought it based on how pretty the bottle is. Now, I went to Walmart the other day and got a bunch of Color Shop paints. I do not have the exact, like, colors on here, but I do have three colors that I think will look really, really good together, and it's these three here. This one is Aromatherapy, which is, like, the perfect Courtney's Customs Purple. Ah! I love it, but this is Aromatherapy. This is Island Girl, and this is Farmer's Daughter. They are all gloss paints, and this is going to be my first time trying the Color Shop paints, and I'm really, really excited about it because they have been, like, going around like crazy lately. My Walmart finally got their stuff together and <laughs> had some on the shelves. So what I'm going to do is kind of like an ombre of all three paints, even though that's not... It's not exactly what's going on here, but I've got just got kind of an idea from this bottle. So I'm going to ombre the paints, and then when it comes time to put the vinyl on, I'm going to spray paint my vinyl in like an opposite ombre, and I don't know. We'll see where it goes from here. So for now, let's go outside and spray paint this. This is, I sanded it already. This is a 15 ounce skinny. So let's go outside, and you guys are going to see my like real time reaction to trying these Color Shop paints. So how I'm doing this is I'm just doing short bursts and kind of like swiping my can in a horizontal way. Um, I hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of hard to tell because I sped it up, but I took like forever doing this because I was trying to get the ombre right. But I'm just doing short bursts of each color and then I'll go back and fix colors that have like overlapped too much or anything. And I know I'm not giving much of a reaction on camera. That's just because it's hot and I'm miserable. <laughs> But, like, truly, I really, really do love these paints. Okay. Honestly, this is amazing. <laughs> the colors are great, and I have never been a fan of gloss spray paint because I feel like it runs really easily and it stays tacky forever. Guys, it has been maybe five minutes. Like, I did not get back in here very long ago and it is completely like it's not tacky it's like ready to go this is extremely impressive I'm not affiliated with them in any way nothing like that I just really wanted to try it out and show you guys so this is incredible <laughs> what I'm going to do now is pop this on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm gonna add a coat of epoxy, and I haven't decided if I want to, yes, I just did. I just decided. I'm gonna put Helix from the Glitter Grind into my epoxy. It's an additive, so it's not really a glitter, but it is gonna give this a subtle shimmer. So whenever we come back tomorrow, it'll look so, so pretty and ready for the decals. So now this next part is going to be super, super fun. We are going to add palm trees here and a decal here, but we're going to do something a little different with the palm trees. I cut them out on white permanent vinyl. This is the white vinyl from my website. And um, we're going to do like a reverse spray paint ombre on the vinyl. So instead of doing purple, pink, blue, I might even like switch these two so the pink's not on the pink. So we'll do like blue, purple, pink on the vinyl. So I learned this from Flynn Sisters Boutique. She posted a video, gosh, it's been like a year ago maybe. So you kind of have to scroll down pretty far to see it. But I watched her spray paint vinyl and it was like genius. So I'm going to do that with this. You can't see it, I know right now, but these are palm trees and I got them from Creative Fabrica. So now I'm going to take the same three spray paints and I'm going to spray paint this vinyl but first I'm going to do just like some very very light sanding over the vinyl to try to prep it so the paint won't lift. This is a 220 grit sanding block so it's really not that rough but I'm just going to very gently sand over this vinyl. Now 
especially since this is a glossy vinyl. Um, it is not so much glossy anymore, but yeah, it's a glossy vinyl and I, and I just really don't want the paint to like smear all over the place. So now I'm just going to take this outside and do the spray paint ombre. So just like whenever I spray painted the tumblers, I'm just doing short bursts back and forth, trying not to make it too heavy. I don't want anything to possibly start running. And I am just slightly overlapping the colors to try to create an ombre look and going back over the colors if need be whenever I'm done. But really, this is really fun to change up your vinyl and it turned out really, really cute. And it's a good thing my husband is cutting the grass later. <laughs> Okay, so these turned out really, really pretty. So now I'm just going to weed them and I'm trying to figure out what way would be easiest. So the spray paint did make it a little bit harder to weed, but look how gorgeous. These are so pretty. They turned out fantastic. So now I am going to go ahead and apply these to the tumbler. That turned out so pretty. Okay, so now let me cut out the other decal that I'm gonna put here and I'll add that one on too. All right, so now I am going to pop this on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm gonna add some KS Resin Liquidy Split so this can be done in just a few hours and then I will come back and show y'all the finished result. Okay, so it has been roughly a couple of hours. I packed some orders and then I went to the tanning bed and it is like almost completely dry. It's maybe like a little bit tacky, like maybe it needs like another hour. But I mean, I love, 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 love this stuff. And I feel like the shine on this KS Resin Liquidy Split is like unmatchable. Is that a word? Unmatchable? I think it is. It's really, really good. So yeah, another look at the tumbler here. I love how it turned out. I love the ombre and then the reverse ombre. This cute, simple little decal, which by the way, I made this myself. I didn't buy it off of anywhere because I couldn't really find what I wanted. And then guys, these Color Shot spray paints, I hate to sound like I'm jumping on a bandwagon, but they are seriously incredible. I've been getting really, really frustrated with my Rust-Oleum spray paints here lately because like they'll work a couple times and then... Um, the bottles will clog up really bad. I can't and I'm throwing away full cans of spray paint and like it's just really really frustrating and they run a lot. I don't know what has changed and like their formula or something maybe but it's been frustrating but I really love it. Of, of course you know the can itself looks different and then I like how this right here is at the top so like your finger fits right in there and you can spray really really easily the only negative thing i have to say is the smell it does it doesn't smell like spray paint i don't know what it smells like but it's not pleasant so um i mean i don't like the smell of spray paint anyway but this stuff is just i don't like the smell of it but it works so well it doesn't drip it dries like that it's beautiful very vibrant pigmented i love it so much I've been looking for it on Amazon um, in case, you know, you don't want to get out and go to Walmart or anything. They are on Amazon, but they are a lot more expensive on Amazon. I will still put a link if, like, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. You don't want to go to the store. But I suggest just going to your local Walmart. I think these were like $4.97 a can or something like that at my Walmart, which isn't any different than my Rust-Oleum paints that I've been using. So... I'll put the Amazon link, but definitely go to your local Walmart, check it out. Some Walmarts have them, some of them don't. Mine finally got them in a couple weeks ago, so I had to snag them. But yeah, that's it. And I will also have the link to KS Resin's website. I get a lot of questions about what epoxy I use. Every single video, I do have the link to KS Resin in my description. Normally, I just use the plain old regular liquid art, not the UV, not the 
ultra whatever it is no just the plain liquid art but on this tumbler right here um the first coat was a liquid art and then the second coat i used was liquidy split and then the coat that i'm going to put on after for like the final top coat will just be the regular liquid art before i go i do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is we must be willing to let go of the life we planned so as to have the life that is waiting for us that was said by joseph campbell that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is so simple. It was so fun and I absolutely love the color shot spray paints. If y'all have any questions like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!